In Taiwan, both individuals and corporations are saving more and investing less, driven by rising inflation and environmental concerns. The Directorate General of Budget, Accounting, and Statistics forecasts that by 2024, the excess savings rate will climb to 15.46 percent, reaching a total of 3.8 trillion NT dollars. Despite showcasing economic resilience, a high excess savings rate indicates substantial idle funds, potentially hindering economic growth. Experts recommend initiating changes in monetary policy to address this issue. So, the most direct way, ha. 就是透过货币政策，比如说用降息的方式呢，哈，让这一个投资的动机能够拉抬上来。那 The most direct way is by monetary policy. For example, lower interest rates to boost the incentive for investment and promote consumption so that people are willing to withdraw money from the bank to spend. In comparison, Taiwan's excess savings rate last year far exceeded those of other Asian nations, with South Korea at 1.3 percent, Japan at 3.3 percent, and China at 1.5 percent. Experts attribute this to a lack of investment drive and diminished confidence in future prospects. The Central Bank of Taiwan has outlined three key strategies aimed at lowering the excess savings rate by boosting investment. If we want to make the savings rate more stable. To lower excess savings, the faster way is to increase investment. But the increase in investment leads to another problem. Cost effectiveness is crucial in investment. It is not just to invest randomly. So, whichever the central bank solution is, the hope is that the investment rate can increase. With Taiwan's excess savings mounting, the government is urged to find effective measures to bolster the economy. Liu Yanxuan, Huang Guanwei, Ruo Shipong, Jamie Lin, Pinzhong, TVBS World, Taiwan.